So we're going to kickstart this um, financial food saving um, series and give you some tips as to how to save money at the supermarket on food. Now, for me, the most basic and obvious thing to do is to have a shopping list. Um, I don't go to the supermarket without a list of what I need to buy because otherwise I just end up throwing things in that I don't really need and also I end up forgetting half the things that I do need so then I go back again and end up spending even more money. So I actually have a whiteboard um, and you don't need a whiteboard, you just have a, a pen and paper and a normal list or an app in your phone and during the week as I run out of things I add you know whatever the item that is that I need to that list so that I don't waste time wandering up and down the aisles but trying to remember what I need or just putting stuff in that I definitely don't need and end up doubling up on products. Um, the second thing for me is to save money on food and groceries is having a food plan. So knowing that, you know, tonight we're going to have, um, you know, spaghetti bolognese or, you know, tomorrow night we're going to have salmon salad, like having a list of what we're going to sort of plan for the week. And sometimes where I can, I'll make extra so I can take it as a packed lunch to work. But for me, that's probably where my, my knowledge or tips stop. I don't know much further. So I'm actually going to hand you over to Leela, who's going to share her amazing ideas that I hadn't even thought of as to onto how she saves money on food but doesn't actually um, jeopardize or forego quality food. Okay, so the first thing you sort of mentioned was you know looking at the cuts of meats mm. and you gave the example with chicken. So can you explain like what you recommend and what is the best value for money when it comes to buying meat? Definitely. Well, I personally always buy chicken Maryland mm -hmm. because they're a lot cheaper than the breast, for instance. Okay. Or the chicken drumsticks. They tend to be the items that aren't as popular. So why why cheaper. is it cheaper? They're cheaper because they're not as popular, but they're also cheaper because there's less labor to detach that part from the chicken. So mm -hmm. the breast has to be cut beautifully to size. I don't know if any of you have decided, ever tried to dissect a chicken. <laughs> it's really hard to get the breast off and prepare mm -hmm. it. So the chicken Maryland is just one quick chop. So that's very easy for a butcher mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to, to, do. to mm -hmm. take off the chicken. So uh, things like that. Also things that are left on the bone, so, for instance, like a fillet steak is very way more expensive mm -hmm. than, say, you know, the rump steak. Also, different parts of the animal are more expensive or more or cheaper. Mm. So we want to buy those cuts that are cheaper. Mm. And you'll understand a little bit more in one of our later videos when we talk about cooking them, why they're actually better. Because yeah. we can cook cheaper meals with them that are more nutritionally dense as well. Okay, so when you're buying meat, try and buy it as close to the bone as possible because mm -hmm. that's where the best savings for money and possibly more nutritious more nutritious and also you can we're going to talk about using the bones mm, cooking yeah well. so we've got cooking ideas <laughs> for you as well so but just keep that in mind when you compare it when you're at you know the supermarket in the meat aisle looking at you know sort of feeling a little bit overwhelmed with the cost of meat try and look for meats that are close to the bone yeah. um the next idea you talked about was buying in bulk and what foods you can freeze yes Buying bulk is a really good idea because a lot of butchers will have a special on. Mm -hmm. For instance, you can get two kilos for one and a half kilo price. Okay. So then in that case, I always go in and I think, well, great, I'm going to buy four kilos. And what I will do is put them into 500 gram bags, mm -hmm. for instance, because I live on my own, so I don't need to cook too much. And then I'll freeze them all. Okay. And then I know on my list to cross off mince meat for the next four weeks or something. Okay, great. You also talked about like getting to know your supermarket, like knowing what days of the week um, new stock arrives and um, when products arrive, and that they, you know, what days they tend to put things on sale. Like I thought, that, I mean, you sort of noticed that every day, one particular day per week, that the guy was marking down lots of food, yeah. and you realised it was, you know, Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, especially for your independent or local organic stores or just independent grocers. They will have a day where they get all of their chicken delivered, for instance, and there will be a whole lot of stock on the shelves that they need to move so they can put the new stock on. So that will all get marked down to move quickly. Um, it's What's really important to note is just because a, a, a product is marked down doesn't mean it's going to go off. It, they just need to, to move, move it. Move it yeah, okay. yeah, so, so you, it doesn't mean it's bad or rotting no, or moldy or anything like that. Also, used by dates are very, they're very, very, very safe. Mm -hmm. There's actually a lot more life left in meat. So normally if I buy something quick sale like that, I'll freeze it anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm not Which worried about it. So it's in like a off. time capsule when yeah, it's frozen. Yeah, exactly. So, mm -hmm. but those items are always so much cheaper because they need to get rid of it. That's why it's cheap. Okay. On that subject of buying foods that, that can be frozen, I mean, what foods can be frozen? Like, obviously, meat can be frozen. 
are there any particular fruits that can be frozen to, so that they last longer? Like, what sort of foods can be frozen? Uh, meats, yep, definitely mm -hmm. the easiest. Um, frozen berries. Berries work really, a lot mm -hmm. of fruit works really well frozen. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, like mango. If mangoes are on sale, I buy the mangoes and I'll cut them all up mm -hmm. and then I'll freeze them in little freezer bags. That's fun. I never even knew that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah every, everything that's on sale. Like I go, right, right, strawberries <laughs> on sale, cut them mm. up. Because they go really well in smoothies when we talk about yeah. breakfast mm. on the run. Yeah, later. yeah. Um, also, buying bulk, um, some vegetables or like berries, for instance, if you mm. buy bulk bags of frozen berries, like mm. I buy these massive bags and they're so much cheaper than buying little individual bags. Yeah. And yeah. as you know, like if people especially are interested in eating organically, berries are so expensive. So incredible. I, I incredible. Bought one the other day, and I was like, "Whoa!" Yeah, yeah. Mm. And again, that's so when they're not they're not in season all the time. They're much cheaper to buy when they're frozen. Yeah. And you said also um, recommended buying in season. So understanding, like mm. you know, at the moment in Sydney there is an avocado drought. Like avocados are exceptionally expensive, which is annoying because I love oh, avocados. Me too. But um, you know, get, understanding like you know what's in season yeah. at the moment like what type of apples are, are popular right yeah. now or, or you know readily available because obviously the price comes down yeah. um and then the other thing you mentioned that i hadn't ever thought of um uh, is imperfections oh yeah this mm. is quite funny because <laughs> we have this thing about everything looking beautiful and there are people that are actually their job is to sort all the apples and make mm. sure all the beautiful apples go into the stalls mm. um, whereas a lot of independent grocers will put the ugly apples <laughs> to one side and we'll sell them quite cheaply so for mm. instance there'll be a box of juicing carrots there's nothing wrong with those yeah. carrots sometimes they're just broken yeah or yeah scraped. and once you cut them up i mean they, as you said, they taste the same once you cut them up you wouldn't even know and especially if you're going to be using them in cooking yeah they've got to be chopped up anyway yeah exactly mm. so okay. they're something really worthwhile they're, there's nothing wrong with them and they are nutritionally just as good as the other okay and then obviously i think the final tip that we both agree on um is you know shopping loyally um having like a rewards you know shopping the supermarket that has a rewards program that you know saves you money um and gives you discounts and gives you bonuses yeah. and rewards and, and 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 bigger discounts further down the track is definitely worthwhile like yeah. a step you know shopping with one particular um you know super, supermarket um shop or, or, or um, I guess brand um, over time can actually add up to be a lot of uh, add up to be quite valuable and some of them even provide additional um, bonuses and discounts to other stores outside of their their network which is also you know can add up to be quite a lot of money over time and I think there goes a lot actually to be if you shop somewhere all the time I've become really good friends with the people that own the establishments that I shop with I have no idea how much stuff they just give me. Oh wow, really? Yeah, all the time. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I know. So because I shop in bulk as mm. well, or when their stuff's on special, or and I'm such a good customer, and I come back and I bring other customers. Mm. They're mm. always like giving me things. Oh my gosh, that's which, amazing. Yeah, which is that's really great. just knowing everyone's name at the butcher, for instance, mm. like all the staff, and when I walk mm. in saying hi to everyone, they're always going, "Oh, we'll give Lila some free bones for her dog." Or, yeah. Oh, that's not. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lila has her chocolate Labrador as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So look that's it for this video that's just some tips on how to save money at the supermarket as I said we've got a string of these series coming out for you so we hope you enjoy that but that should just help you out for them in the meantime we'll see you in the next series shortly ciao, ciao. <laughs>